Uh, hi there, I'm Kelly Parks of Prom Waters Cloud Accounting. I use Financial Sense uh, to run my bookkeeping practice and I built templates for it. And uh, my friend Martin is looking at Financial Sense and at my templates. And so we decided to do a walkthrough together. Actually, I decided and I asked him and he was totally game. So Martin, tell us something about you. Thank you. I'm a, I'm a practicing CPA interested in automating my practice. I do a lot of tax work and I like the tech aspect of it. So this is very intriguing to me. Actually, Martin, you love the tech aspect. Martin and yeah. I do stuff back and forth and Martin is a, is a techie like I am. So it's kind of fun. Okay, let's take a look at a manager file review because that's going to be a pretty easy one to just take a run through. Um, so just confirm that the reconciliation statements have been uploaded. You could add in a task here, but really that's the bookkeeper should have already uh, uploaded the, and you don't send this notification to your bookkeeper. When you're in here, you can just basically add them and say, are they, are they uploaded? Or they can let you know that they're uploaded, right? That's really their job to make sure that you have something to go by for the reconciliations. So then it's just a quick general review. So um, just making sure that the file isn't out of control for duplicates or large pur purchases. Right. Um, uh, review undeposited funds. So there should never be, and so there's some best practices in here. There should never be, but there very often is, right? Undeposited funds sitting there and that'll throw off. That could in fact um, duplicate our revenue if they put it into undeposited funds and accept it in the bank feed, right? Uh, yes. Bank feed review. Uh, so just make sure that the reconciliations are done and that there are no uncleared transactions. There shouldn't really be in this day and age, but there may be uh, uncleared checks. Um, I use payment processors, so those are pre-reconciling anyways, but um, make sure that uncleared transactions are simply checks perhaps that haven't cleared and there's a few days to go on them, uh, but not that they're stale dated or any of that kind of stuff. Right. Right. Balance sheet review, counts in their expected position due to from sales tax current. Uh, AR review, negative balances aging over 60. Uh, AP review, same idea, and profit and loss review. So uh, always run comparative reports so that you can spot any anomalies. Custom reports and QBO are great for this uncategorized expenses coded correctly, unbilled transactions. This is one that can get very out of control in QuickBooks Online and is a pain if you don't keep up with it. Job costing, class tracking, if any of these things are going on. And products, I do a products and services review just to make sure that they're tracking to reasonable accounts as well. I use a custom report for that as well. I see, okay. Yeah, so the file manager review, uh, is really just to make sure that everything is tracking in order and that no one file is getting out of control. Let's add, uh, so let's add, uh, let's add a bookkeeping one. So we're gonna add a template. We're gonna use, uh, let's use monthly bookkeeping. So we're gonna use that template. This is where you can set all kinds of options on it. So when you first open it, this is where you're gonna be doing a lot of this kind of work, making them recurring, start dates, uh, extension dates, service items that can match up in QuickBooks Online if you want, and who are you gonna assign it to. Um, let's, let's, so we're swearing right in the thing, right? So let's add it to the test client. And so uh, notify the clients of their tasks. Let's go straight to there. Here are the client tasks where they can upload them. So you've got the goodies that you need right here. So most of my stuff is shared through Dext, but um, there may be some things that you need to get that don't relate to source documents that you might need, especially for that month. Okay. Um, prior period payroll finalized. So what, what would happen is you would take this overall bookkeeping workflow, you would duplicate it and you would take out whatever you don't need. And then you would also customize it. So we're gonna get down to like payroll is a good example, accounts receivable and accounts payable. Maybe you're doing those weekly or bi-weekly. Maybe you wanna take those right out of the monthly bookkeeping one 
So you would duplicate this and take out all of these other steps and then you've just got accounts receivable and accounts payable and you can convert those into weekly bookkeeping workflows. This is a mass, yeah, this is a master copy of everything in it. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, prep work. And you can put in how long you think it's going to take. Um, review reports, run through receipt bank, which used to be DEX, so I guess I better fix that. Um, go through the overview to see what's going on in there, what your workload looks like, and are, have, has the client done their, their sales part of it, their income. Uh, verify the file. So just make sure that everything is actually ready to go from the client. And then you would move on to clearing the bank feeds. So there's a best practice in there on how to clear the bank feeds. Uh, payroll, again, I don't have anything in payroll because every single payroll is different, right? right? Yeah, I have a payroll onboarding, but I don't have an actual payroll. So um, again, some best practices in here. Uh, accounts payable. Accounts payable is such a good revenue source now with all of the online payment processing. Reconcile bank and credit cards. Again, a best practice so that you are paying attention and you're not missing anything and then what the possible ones are. You can actually add dependencies in too. Dependencies are kind of fun. So you can't actually uh, do any reconciling until you have all the prep work done, for example. So it will give you a flag. Just so you know, it's very cool, the flag on it. Um, I use uh, auto review to do a file review. If you don't use auto review, that's when you would activate either the other workflow or simply go with a manager file review. You can punt the file off to another user. So um, you can either use this one or you can activate a, the manager file review that we saw a minute ago. Uh, reporting, the standard reports that need to go up. Uh, it gives you a list of bookmarks. You know how I feel about bookmarks. Um, and then custom reports. It does give a list of the custom reports I would make. And then um, the reports that you want to send, close the period and notify the books are closed. So that's what that looks like. Excellent. Very for Canada, system. for Canada, I did actually create uh, for our, so that's the international version. The Canadian version does have um, GST. It does have four sales tax filing systems because you can see that there's a lot that goes on to the sales tax. So um, just for my Canadian friends, there is a Canadian version as well that has four ways of filing sales tax. Net file, rep a client within the QBO sales tax module and outside the QBO sales tax module. So hopefully, did that make sense, Martin? Yes, absolutely. Okay, cool. Well, thank you for being uh, my, uh, my co-host on this. Beautiful.